My thoughts initially about Thomas Matthew Crooks are that, number one, he was probably suicidal. Number two, wasn't enough of a twit to think that he'd get away with it. So, of course, he knew there was a pretty decent chance he was going to be shot in retaliation. Number three, that maybe crashing his car was too obscure and like many lost young men who are in a dark place wanting to end things, he wanted to have his name spake around the world on the tongue of millions, known forever in his mind, you know, some sort of hero to some people, an idol to others, even if peers would only say, wow, he had the balls. Who knows? We don't know enough about the bullying he was subjected to. We don't know enough about any redeeming qualities that he may have had and which may have been suffocated under so many neuroses or personality disorders or depression. Who knows? But don't start jumping ahead with ideas about, you know, him being radicalized, groomed into this by some sort of a Svengali who promised him that they would get him away after the event or, you know, fed that young lost man's desire to be something after death because he feels like nothing here in his life. You know, this is a big problem, obviously, around the world where young people just have no hope. <laughs> they have no hope and they want to die. I don't think... <laughs> This should be poo-pooed and why this isn't enough of a reason for something like this to happen. Why, when an innocent bystander was murdered and I believe another person was uh, gravely harmed, you know, <laughs> why is it that people have the nerve <laughs> and the front to talk about it being, you know, some sort of psyop or a setup by Trump, you know, um, or by Biden, even, you know, with the um, make him a bullseye comment. This is the sort of thing that happens sporadically throughout history, and this kid would know, you know, the name of Lee Harvey Oswald. Who knows why he was a member of the Republican Party? Maybe he decided to join because it was part of his, his fantasy leading up to his suicide, what's essentially his suicide. You know, he's a spy. He gains entry. You can see on the inside what sort of pleasure might that have given him. I believe he then gave some sort of donation to the Democrats. <laughs> why again because of the fantasy about what people might think about these things after his death or after his act when he's in prison and people want to pick his brains well now his brains are scattered across some steel roof and people <laughs> people who should know better but they don't because they always go a bit loopy, are um, trying to analyse from videos. See, see, Trump's ear gets shot after the perp's been already taken out. Oh, for God's sake. Anywho, uh, that's what I think. I think it was a suicidal young man thinking up a way to go out that is less obscure than crashing a car into a tree.